Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to our channel. Today's video request is how to use typewriter in Canva. So let's talk about that in today's video. So if what you mean by how to use typewriter in Canva is how to add or apply a typewriter animated effect to your video or something like that, then this is what you can do. Uh, say for example, this is the video or the presentation that you're working on. Um, let me just add a text box first. So I'm going to press T on my keyboard. So I think that's a very fast way to add a text box. But you can also just simply go to the sidebar and click on text. You can choose from text templates or add a plain text box by clicking this button over here. All right, we're going to pretend that this text over here is the text that we want to apply the typewriter animated effect to. So we're going to click on it or select it, then go to the toolbar above and click on animate. So this side panel over here will appear and we're going to look for the typewriter effect. So we're going to scroll down and here it is. The first one under the writing category. By the way, you can also choose to animate your text on enter, on exit, or both. If you have a Canva subscription or if you're a Canva Pro user, then you'll also be able to adjust your animation effects speed. So to do that, just drag the slider over here. So the more you slide to the right, the faster your effect will be. And the more you slide to the left, the slower your effect will be. And apart from that, you also have the option to animate your text per character or per word. And that's it. That's how you can add the typewriter animation effect to your text. In case you want to take a look at what other animation elements they have, well, let us let us show you. They're categorized into three main groups. So you have the basic, the writing, and exaggerated. Let's take a look at them one by one in order, starting with the ones from the basic category. So they have rise, pan, fade, pop, wipe, breathe, baseline, drift, tectonic. So let's move on to the writing. Of course, we have typewriter. Ascend. Shift. Merge. As for merge, I think it would look really nice if we have two lines. So let's do that. Right there. Block. Burst. Bounce. Roll, skate, and spread. And let's move on to the last category. We have exaggerate, so we have tumble, neon, scrapbook, and stomp. You can apply these um, effects not only to texts, but to images and graphic elements as well. So let's try to look for an element first. I'm just going to delete this one. Going to go to the element section and type in maybe cat would be okay. Let's use this one. So in order to add an animated effect to our cute little cat right over here, we're going to click on it and click on animate. And here we can choose what animations we'd like to use. Oh, 
I think I like this one. So I'm going to use baseline on it. All right. I'm going to be making a simple video and apply some animated effects to my elements. If you want to see my process and see how it would turn out, then feel free to keep watching. Otherwise, we're still thankful. So let's get started. I'm going to keep this cat right over here, put it here in the middle, and I'm going to change our background color to something that suits our kitty right here, but something lighter so that it doesn't really, like, be exactly the same as this orange right here. And we're going to add a text box, so let's press T. So let's pretend we're making an outro for our YouTube video. And we're going to change its font right over here. I like this. Make it a bit bigger. There. Perhaps we could change the color of this black outline. Let's give it a try. Something like that. I like it. And I'm going to copy the co color code here. So I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to control plus C and then go to this text element and change its color to, oh, I guess I don't need to copy the code. It's already here. So like that. And now I'm going to apply the typewriter effect to it. So that is over here. And I'd like to animate it in a much faster way. Like that. Now I'm going to add animated elements to it. So I'm going to type here animation and click on graphics. And from here, I am going to select some animated elements that I'd like to use. This one, for example. Copy it, or duplicate it rather, put it here. Or how about this one? Perhaps I could put that here. And duplicate it once again by hitting this button. And then I'm going to add a rectangle. So how about this one? Or I could just simply press, oh no, maybe not. I could go to shapes. Click on all and click on this rectangle over here. So this is going to be where I am going to place my YouTube recommendation videos. Duplicate, put the other one over here. I guess I'm going to do this to select both elements and then position it to make sure it's aligned in the center. I can see the ruler here, so I think that's perfectly aligned already. So I'm going to, okay, release it. All right, and it would be nicer if we could put a cursor. So let's do that. Graphics. Perhaps this one's okay. So this is going to be where my um, YouTube profile will go to. So I'm going to put this button over here and do that. Okay, that should be it.
and in order to download my video i'm gonna go to share oh i think i forgot to animate these other elements so let me just do that quickly animate and for this i'd like it to fade same goes for these other elements over here Right, let's try to see how it looks like. I think it looks lovely. And I'm going to set it to 20 seconds. All right, and in order to download it, just simply go to the share button, download. Make sure to select MP4 as your t uh, file type or that depends on what you're trying to create. And then adjust other download settings according to your preferences and click download. And that's it. We hope you found today's video of help somehow. Thanks so much for watching and we hope to see you in the next video. You have a great day.